Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today I'm very very excited to be doing a review for this the latest SH Figuarts The Shadow Moon. Okay, so I am very very excited for this guy because he is like a childhood kind of thing because I've been watching the Kamen Rider Black ever since I'm, you know, teenagers. Yeah, very, very young. Um, yeah, so this has a very, very nostalgic feelings to me. And I prefer him even more than the Kamen Rider Black himself because he just looks so good. Every time any episode that he came out, oh, I'm, I'm feeling so happy to watch that episode. Yeah, so he is the Kamen Rider uh, friend which has been brainwashed and transformed into these bad guys here. So uh, the, the real bad guy kind of make these two buddies, you know, fighting against each other. Yup, so wow, so happy to get him. And before I actually, you know, do a review about him, I would like to check um, the Kamen Rider Black. Yeah, this is the latest one, which is uh, 3.0. Yup, so and I received several messages about collectors who have this figure as well, and they kind of you know complain to me that says that it's a very very bad quality because uh, some even says that they didn't move it at all didn't do any extreme poses but the rubber that you can see right over here starting to crack so right now i'm actually doing the checking up close and yeah i'm pretty glad that nothing happens to my so i actually kept mine in the enclosed case i'm not sure whether that helps to minimize the uh moisture that might cause the crack i'm not so sure yeah but it mine just seems to be okay yeah so i'm so glad so for those of you who are actually wondering whether how is mine uh maintaining yeah so now you can see it's still as good as new okay yep so let's check out this guy here and oh, the box is exactly the same as the Kamen Rider Black i kind of like this look it's very very nice uh so at the side here you can see Shadow Moon, yes, very very nice. And this side same. And here we have SH Figuas, and at the below SH Figuas, and at the back is the best view among all. You can see all the good poses and the fighting among these two buddies. Yep. So wow, just can't wait to see how it looks like inside. And let's crack him open. Okay, so before I get him out of the box, I would like to share this beauty moment. Yep, wow, it's so nice. Just take a look at it. Wow, <laughs> it's really, really, it's like a masterpiece, you know, and most of you guys must, must be thinking, huh, that's it? There's no accessory at all? Nope, it's actually behind him. Okay, so there's another compartment here. Wow, just look at all the swords and all the interchangeable hands and as well as this part here which I still trying to figure out what is it for okay so we might find out later okay so this is Shadow Moon right out of the box and the moment that I took him out just now the very first feeling is this guy is very light. Yeah, I was thinking that she could have some weight. Um, I mean, looking at the overall build, but it's very, very light. It's like uh, nothing at all. It's, you know, it feels a bit disappointed. I kind of hope that he's a bit heavy. Yeah, but I think it's okay as long as the design is good. So let's take a closer look right now. Wow, just look at him. I very, very much liking the the green eyes. It kind of looks like it shines as you can see the, the lights reflected of it. It looks like it has a light lighting functions inside wow this is really really nice and i like the overall uh silver it's like chrome but uh we all know that it is not but it is looking very nice and especially this thing here wow just look at the details inside this is beautiful this is like a a piece of art a masterpiece art wow just look at all the details and i always like the moment when he walks this thing will actually move and you can even move it now he has the robotic move sound
Yeah, I always like that sound. It, it seems to be uh, quite scary because you know that he's coming, but at the same time, it, it just very it makes a very good entry over there. Yep. So it's wow. This is just so nice. My goodness. Oh, this is like a, it's like a dream come true for me. And uh, wow, just look at all the nice uh, chrome. Uh, feels of it, the silver, wow, it's, it's like holding a Iron Man Mark II, <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is great, this is great, he does have this as well, like the, uh, it's like a grasshopper, yeah, it's like a grasshopper leaks over there, it's kind of sharp though, so be very careful about it, and this one is also very sharp. Okay, wow. Okay, so let's move on to the articulations of this guy. We we'll start with the head as always. So he can turn to the right, turn to the left, no issues. Looking up, yep, pretty much. Looking down, even better. So you can even tilt his head if you want to. And for his arm, I believe this piece is uh, movable. You can, yeah, you can actually push it out like you can see here. He have his own uh ball joint if i'm not wrong yeah there's a very small tiny gap you can see there but be very careful about it so whenever you move just make sure you move this out of the way so that you don't scratch the paint okay so you can turn 360 degrees no problem at all any yeah there's a slight butterfly joint wow oh shit actually it's, it's a very good butterfly joint not just a slight one yep so uh any yep there's an arm shivers as well you can see that Okay, and I uh, believe it's a uh, double joint elbow. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, double joint elbow. Beautiful, beautiful. And as for his hand, of course, you can move it around. And let's see how many points of articulations on the toe. So this is the also the portion which I'm quite worried about because I don't want to be scrapping any pins off. Let's see. Okay, so we can have one just below the toe. So you can see that it can move here, turning side to side. Yeah, just a little. And I believe there should be another one down here. Let's see. Yep. You can even turn this side. Yep. So there's a two point articulation over there. And mine does have a, like a uh, glue residue that, yeah, somehow is over there. Yep. So it's not too bad. Yep. Not too bad. And as for the feet, any pull down mechanism? Mm, nope. Okay. So let's see how well you can do a split. Uh, not too good. Just like this. Okay, and how about kicking forward? Let's see. Wow, okay, so it's not going to happen because of the armor. Yeah, just like this. <laughs> it's like he's uh, walking, yeah, kicking backwards, I believe. It's not, yeah, it's not so good as well. Yeah, okay, just like this. Okay, any shivers? I believe there are shivers inside the legs. Yep, oh, okay, you can see there are some, uh, something like an oil there. I believe it's for the movement and the legs does have a double joint knee yep a very good double joint knee there's a ball joint up and down side to side uh yeah side to side no problem there any toe hinge yes there's a toe hinge over there yep which works perfectly okay so let's move on to the accessory as always i will start with the hand so he comes with a pair of closed fist hand that is already on the figure a pair of relaxed hand a pair of grabbing hands a pair of sword holding hands and lastly a left finger pointing hands which looks pretty good over there and at the same time he just comes with a pair of sword holding hands for the Kamen Rider Black because if I'm not wrong there is a sense that he is actually holding his sword And next he comes with these two beautiful swords here. He usually use these two together, but they are of different length as you can see. Okay, so it's very, very nicely done. You can see all the design here. Wow, and it's even translucent here. Wow, very, very nice. And this next sword is like his signature weapons. Yeah, just look at all the amazing gold details over here. And these one are all very, very sharp. Even here is also very sharp, so be very careful not to drop this baby here because I think it will actually broken it <laughs> if you drop it, especially when you drop it like this. Okay, so wow, it's just so nice. And the last piece of accessory is actually this uh, booty. 
uh, it actually meant to an interchange with him. If I'm not mistaken, this one is actually meant for him to sit on the Kamen Rider, the Battle Hopper uh, motorbikes. Yes, if I'm not mistaken, because I have seen some pictures showing him sitting down on a bike. So I believe um, with this one, existing one, he can't really do the sitting pose, but with this, he can if I'm not mistaken. And of course, he does come with an instructions manual where you can see all the hands that he's given. And this is the Kamen Rider black hands and all how you can put on the swords and how you can interchange the booty. Yep, <laughs> I, I can't read Japanese. Yeah, so if you can read it, uh, maybe you can uh, take a look at it and let me know in the comments below. What is this portion for? Is it for the bike? Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how to interchange the hands and also put on his signature swords that you can see right over here. So as simple as just taking it out right now. So you just need to take out like this and then just pop it back in. Yeah, be very, very careful about it. Okay, just like this. And next, just uh, let him hold on to it uh, very, very slowly. Okay, so the hands is actually quite soft you can see that I can easily just make it open and then just slide in the sword just like that okay it's very very simple yet wow look at how beautiful it looks this is awesome and at the same time I'm going to try to interchange the hands for the black as well because this shadow moon does give the hands for the black okay let's try it on yes just like this and then i'll try to put on the sword as well just keep the hands open like this they are very very softly and then just put on the swords yes as simple as that wow just look at now both of them have the swords yep very very nice okay okay so for the size comparisons i'll like to do some comparisons with the sh figures of course i have the sh figures the Kamen Rider Black, this is the old one, which is the 2.0 and then of course we have the 3.0 right over here. You yep, can see the big improvement <laughs> between these two and now he actually looks much better with these two. And next I'll compare with the SHV Gwats Kamen Rider RX. Yes, this is also a 2.0 or is it 1.0? I'm not so sure. I think it's a 2.0 as well. I kind of hope that they will make him into a 3.0 just like this guy and the black. And then we have this, the Kamen Rider 1. This is the classic one. Okay. And still on the SHV goes, I'd like to compare with this Space Ranger Gaban if I'm not wrong. I know he's called Gaban, but I'm not sure about the Space Ranger thing. Yeah, let's just take a look at this chrome. This is also one of the uh, my childhood um, movie that I usually watch. It's quite nice. And then also, how can we not have the Ultraman? Okay, this is also from the SH figures. And still on the SH figures, I would like to compare with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Yes, I have the whole set. This is the Blue Ranger. And then we have a Pink Ranger. Of course, it's a girl. Yeah, so you can see it's slightly shorter as compared to this guy. And next, let's compare with some other brands. I have the Marvel Legends Iron Man Mark 85. And you can see how tiny this guy is. This is like a giant man. And then we have the Mayfax. The Amazing Spider-Man, okay, this is a uh, custom Andrew Garfield's uh, head sculpt. Yep, so this guy is still quite small as compared to this Spider-Man. And last but not least, I would like to compare with the SH Figuarts Shadow Moon 2.0. Yes, this is like his predecessor. Wow, just look at how much the improvement is as compared to this one. It's like a father and son, okay? He looks so tiny as compared to this new one. Yep, okay, let's get him to stand. Wow, just look at the difference between these two. Whew, this is like a bootleg now. <laughs> this is like the original. Wow, it's a huge improvement over there. Okay, so my final verdict for this Shadow Moon is going to be a 9.5 out of 10 yes it's near perfect the overall aesthetic look is beautiful even though i kind of feel that over the tights area he kind of make him too 
uh, thick yeah it looks like he's fat yeah but nevertheless wow the overall mold is very very nice it's, it, as you can see it's a vast improvement over the predecessor only marks that deductor is actually on the articulations at least for the lower parts of the body but I just kind of hope that they can actually improve it slightly maybe you know introducing uh, whereby you can pull down the leg for more articulations yeah something like that and as for the accessories I believe he comes with everything that he needs to the three three swords and they even give an extra part here for him to sit on the battle hopper so if you are a big fans of the Kamen Rider Black series I think this is a must-have yeah you, you can't really miss this guy this guy is like the iconic villains there yeah so I truly truly recommend it if you see it anywhere else just grab this guy he's beautiful as you can see so I hope you enjoyed this review do give me a thumbs up if you do and of course I hope you subscribe to my channel because I have more videos to come over the next few days and i'll catch you again in my next video as always stay safe take care and thank you for watching mm -hmm.